Hi everyone, welcome back to the Angular 10 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about HTTP client. HTTP client help us uh, fetch external data and post the data. HTTP client is a simplified client HTTP API for Angular 10 applications. Additional benefits of HTTP clients include testability features, uh, typed request and response objects, request and response interception, observable APIs, and uh, a streamlined error handling. All right. Now, let's see how we can use HTTP client in Angular 10. Before using the HTTP client, we need to import the Angular HTTP client module in app.module.ts file. All right. So, switch to the project and just import. So, just open inside. Uh, just open app.module.ts file and here. First of all, import HTTP client module. So just write here import and here HTTP client module. Okay. From just write here at the rate angular slash common slash HTTP. All right. Now add this HTTP client module inside the import array. So just write here comma and just paste here HTTP client module. All right. Now save this file. Now let's create a new component. Okay. So switch to the command prompt and here just type a command for creating new component which is ng space g space c and uh, directory name which is components directory okay so just write here component components okay forward slash uh, component name okay let's say component name is blog all right now press enter All right, block component has been created. Now switch to the project and just open. Just go inside the block component and here from here just open uh, block.component.ts file. Okay. And inside this file, first of all, import the HTTP client. So just write here import HTTP client from at the rate angular forward slash common slash http all right now inside this constructor just write here private uh, http colon http client all right and inside this ng on it uh, inside this ng on it function just write here this dot http dot get and uh, here we will use json placeholder api okay to understanding the http client so for that switch to the browser and just go to the google.com and uh, here just search JSN press folder. Okay. Now press enter. Click on first link. This is a fake REST API. Okay. And from this page, just uh, click on this link. And you can see here the hundreds of posts. All right. Total number of posts is 100. All right. Now just copy this URL and inside the project just paste here. Okay. And here just write dots dot uh, subscribe uh, data. So just write here inside the parenthesis data arrow frame 
console dot log and inside this just print the data okay now save this file now let's add the route so go to the app dash routing dot module ts file and here first of all import the component so just write here import block component from uh, just add there add here the path so just write here components uh, blog and blog dot component all right and inside uh, this routes array just add here after that after this uh, path and just pass here blog okay and component name component blog component all right now save this file all right now just open app.component.html and in this navbar just add here the link for that just copy this and paste here now change the route link which is blog and also change the text blog all right now save this file all right now let's check it so switch to the browser and uh, it's compiling and you can see here the blog link now just click on this link okay and open console so right click and inspect element click on console and you can see here the post okay user id id title and uh, body okay these are 100 post all right now let's display uh, the post here okay this component so for that just uh, open blog dot component dot ts file and here let's create a function display data uh, display data uh, display post okay and just pass here a parameter data and inside this let's create a property here posts all right and just write here this dot post is equal to data all right now add this function uh, inside this so just write here display post and uh, this dot okay this dot display post and just pass your data right now save this file and now go to the blog.component.html file and here just add the title so i am going to use here h1 tag blog post okay and here add a div here inside div uh, inside div add, add here h3 tag and one p tag all right now let's use the ng4 directive so just write here ng4 and is equal to let post of post of posts okay this property so just write here of posts and all right in, and here inside the s3 tag just write here inside the double curly bracket post dot title okay this one title and just fit the body so just write here post dot title and here post dot body all right now save this file it's done so 
let's check it so switch to the browser and you can see here the post okay this is the post title and this is the post body all right these are 100 posts so in this way you can use http client in angular 10 so that's all about angular 10 http client so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching